Hi there, I'm Paul. Welcome to the channel. And this is one of a series of videos about applying for a UK visitor visa for my girlfriend Wen. And in this video, we're going to show you actually the results, whether we were successful or not getting the visa. So carry on watching to see what happened. Hi there. So we've got a series of videos that we're explaining all of the process about how to apply for a visitor visa for someone that you want to get into the United Kingdom uh, for a six month multi-entry visa, which is what they grant to everybody. And we're now 11 days or 11 working days since when went to the trendy office building in Bangkok to submit the forms and to have a fingerprints and photo taken. So we've had um, so far an, a text message saying that the application had been received and an email, which I'll put on the screen in a moment, that show you the, 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 the email again just confirmed that the application had reached the people who were actually going to make the decision. But that's all we'd had until today. And today, I think Wayne got thrown a bit, and so did I, because I'd done an awful lot of research about this, and I'd missed one thing, which is that sometimes the adjudicating officer or one of the staff working for them will actually phone up the applicant. I knew that they sometimes would phone the employer, and sometimes they would phone the sponsor, but I'd not realised that sometimes they would actually phone the applicant. And that's what actually happened today. Hi, so we're now on day 16, or working day 16, after we put in our application. And normally they say that 98% of applicants have found out how they've got on by 15 days. So maybe it's been held up because of the issues with the health pandemic around the world at the moment, but we are getting closer now to having a result. But I think the first thing we want to talk about is what happened a week ago on Monday. I'm sitting in a shopping mall in Udantani and I get a phone call from Wen, who's extremely excited. And it was something that I didn't even realize was possibly gonna happen. Maybe I'd not researched it fully. And what happened, Wen? I did call to interview. Interview? Yes. Okay, who called you? I don't know, but I know only a lady, Thai lady, called me at Bangkok. Okay, a Thai, Thai lady from Bangkok called you to do with your visa application. Yes. And what did she ask you? And she asked me, can you give me time about 15 minutes to introduce? Okay, so about 15 minutes for an interview. Yes. And you don't need to tell us the answers but you can tell us the questions that she yeah. asked you to help other people. The first I said she won 15 minutes. Can I give her? Yeah. Okay. After I said I can right now and after that she said uh, please don't open document or computer. Don't uh, don't watch everything. Okay, so what she didn't want you to do was to have pieces of paper in front of you with all the answers yeah, on, yes. or the document that we'd submitted with all the answers on. And yes. of course you were at school, didn't have yeah. your computer, yeah. couldn't do that anyway. Yes. So. After she said that, I was super, super excited. My heart is with outside. Why? I cannot, I cannot open anything. If she don't telling, telling, Oh, you cannot open anything. I cannot because I forgot everything. You hadn't got anything with you because we yes. weren't prepared yes. for this at all because we didn't know I, what was going to happen. Because I'm wet and I don't know she will call me this day. That's right. I don't have information. But you had more or less all the information up here anyway, didn't you? I'm lucky because I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what questions did she ask you? What's my name? 
Okay, well, that's an easy one. You should know yeah. your name. My name, surname, my birthday. Okay. Uh, where are you working? Where who's working? Where you were working? Yes. Okay, so she asked where you were working. Yeah, where I'm working. What's, 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 I'm, working, what's I'm doing right now? Okay. Up to that. You are Risa about go to UK okay. for visit travel. I said, um, I said, visit. Oh, uh, what's about your visa? Where you will go? And she asked me, uh, how support you? Uh, because she have information and she have document with her. Yes. Paul support you? Yes. Paul and you was, it seems you are your boyfriend. Yes. Why you, why you want to go to UK? What you will doing in UK? Where you will go in UK? Where you will stay in UK? How many days you will go in, you will stay in UK? What day you will live in Thailand? What day you will allow at UK? Or what day you will live in UK? Okay, so all the dates you had to yeah. go through and explain. Yes, and you, you know about Paul, about Thai girl, ex-girlfriend. Okay, so she asked you if you knew about my any ex-girlfriends. Yes. yes. Do you know about he come to Thailand often? Okay. Asking about you. You know the last he come to Thailand? Okay, so when was the last time I came to Thailand? Yes, and why you can come to Thailand often? Okay. Why you have a lot of time to go to travel? Okay. Your birthday! Your birthday, how old? Okay. How old are you? Okay, and she asked about my job as well, didn't she? Yes, what's your job? Oh, when we... Why... Why we know... Why we meet? Okay, how we met. Oh, yes. how we met? Where we met? The first time we met? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, how many days we met? I mean, often. Yes, how often we've met. And where we go in Thailand. And where we've been in Thailand. Yes. Okay. Now, all of this is to try and make sure that whatever you've put in the document that you've submitted to them is the same as the answers that your, your, your girlfriend is giving when she's interviewed. So you've got to make sure that whatever you put in that document is the truth and that maybe your girlfriend's revised it and knows exactly what, what all those dates were because if she forgets them, it's maybe not going to be helpful. But thankfully, when even though she didn't know that this was going to happen, hopefully remembered all the dates correctly <laughs> and where we'd been. I think where we'd been was a bit easier, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so all those bits of information, you may not think when you're putting them on the form that they're that relevant, but when they start interviewing and asking all these questions, it was even things like, what was the name of my company, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, so there were lots and lots of questions and when had to go through and answer them all and tell everything that she could remember about all those different things. Oh, and add your name. And this your company. How spell your company? Okay, so even how to spell my company yeah. name. So lots and lots of information. And what did she say at the end of the phone call? Oh, she asked me... Uh, about information you do it the, you you do on your sale or company okay so she asked whether we paid a company to do the information for us and obviously we hadn't because we'd done it ourselves but what did she say about our she information said, oh if, it's very good if do on your sale because it's, if you do this company is information is information is maybe company says something and when she call introduce is uh, answer is something is not the same okay so sometimes companies put down facts that they think will help with an application but sometimes when they phone up to do a phone interview 
the lady they phone can't remember all those things because maybe yeah. they're not quite the truth. They're just things that a company think might be the right things yes. to, to go through. Yes. So um, they were all the questions that Wen got asked. And we sort of thought then, oh, we might get an answer in the next day or two. No. We've had to wait nearly, well, I think it's over a week since that phone call, maybe a week yeah. and a half since that phone call. And it's on day 16 now, and you got two text messages yes. today. Message. What did they say? Two messages. They said they, they pick up, pick up. They're ready for send a passport. Okay, so they said the decision's been made, and we're ready. We're ready to pick. You're ready to pick up the passport, and then. And then, we we'll send. Send passport already. Okay, because we paid the courier service, we got a second text. So we paid for the passport to be posted back to Wen's house, but nothing's arrived yet. We never got any tracking details. So we've come to see if we can find it at the post office. So this is the local post office. We're hoping someone's in and waiting to see. What did she say? Here's the decision, but we don't know what it is yet. Mimi! Oh, she don't need to Mimi, her dog, to say to join her when she's opening it. It has something inside. You're gonna have to open it and see. I don't know. That's your receipt. Is there anything stuck in there at all? It wasn't there before. Is there a letter in there as well? No was that was that in there before? <laughs> oh, I don't have before. You don't have before. What do you think that might be then, hun? I cannot remember myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But what do you think it actually is, honey? I think I can get visa. I think you've got a visa. I think you're looking at your visa. Right? Okay. Yes. Very crazy. You have a visa to come to the UK. Oh, crazy. <laughs> My visa. Your visa? So we've got there. Yeah. All we've got to do now is get into the UK before the UK decide, like lots of other countries in Europe, to stop travel from the rest of the world. So we're going to have to look at flights, aren't we? Yes. But first we're going to go and talk to Wen's mum, and you might want to talk to your dad first. Yeah. So after a lot of hard work and a long wait for the visa, 
we finally got the result that WEN has a visa for the UK and we're now going to start making preparations to travel to the UK. I hope this series of five videos has been informative and useful for you. I've put on the screen to the side of me uh, the envelope that the visa was delivered in so you can see what that looks like and if you're going to go through the same process if you've got any questions by all means put them in the comments box below and we'll get back to you with any any information we can about it uh, so if it's been useful and it helps you get a visa that'll be great i know when i was looking i couldn't find any examples online of videos showing how to upload documents the order that the documents needed to be uploaded in and so on so i do hope that particular part is very useful for you so we're actually going to do two more videos going to do a video about the preparations we did to get to the UK in terms of what when got ready before we came things like insurance things to bring with us and so on and then we'll do a video about the travel itself but with the global pandemic then we may not film too much it may be a few photos and things for that one uh, because I think trying to keep safe and virus free is probably going to be the most important part of that one so I hope these videos have been useful. It'd be great if you could subscribe and click the like icon. So, uh, that would really help us. And we'll see you on the next video. So thanks very much and bye for now.